Welcome to your daily astrology horoscope. This is the Peace Dealer. And today we are at 13 degrees Aries. A breakthrough degree. As this next level of breakthrough incorporates breakdown in any place you may not believe in where you love yourself. It's almost kind of hard to say because now we've finally gone through the initial hard part of this cycle and things are getting ready to pick up in a way to really blast you forward over the next couple of days. And I guess the unexpected quality of how this is all going to kick off, even today as I record this, might almost betray a lot of the development that you've come up to this far. So don't really be frazzled by any tower moments. Um, this is sailing through a very turbulent ocean over the past few days and you've reached the promised land, the brink of the promised land. And as you'll feel today, there's a lot of victory to be gained from just literally making it past the past two weeks, but really the past week. So congratulations, if anything, and definitely enjoy a lot of new personal desires you'll discover you may have never always liked. Or let, let me say that uh, in a way that's not stupid. Um, you may come into new desires today that reveal more insight into who you are. It's, it really has the potential to be a super awesome, adventurous, Super califragilistic espialidocious experience. Nice. The moon is in Aries, and I'm not gonna lie, the transits today are really remarkable. The, the moon is opposite Mars conjunct Saturn, and um, of course, the sun in the second decan of Aries is helping you see yourself on the next level because there's levels to this but my favorite aspect of today is mercury that is on neptune in pisces that's going to add greater magic to the processing nature of your cognitive function 12 house to this airy sun uh transcending supernaturally everything you notice that will be for a reason but the moon's in leo y'all and like it's finally gone through aries taurus gemini and cancer and now that it's in leo we are past the activating stage of this transit past the first quarter square getting ready for a full moon and this is integration as we come into the virgo moon so there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff that you've been wishing for that's going to come to fruition so that based off of you getting what you desire it really defines more your character this is now tapping into the source and the solar energy of what power you're establishing so prepare for some very amazing uh or unexpected surprises because this is going to be squaring neptune so moon and leo is feeling how awesome you are and you know uranus and uranus and taurus could be the sense of feeling awkward or the sense of feeling weird because when you express your heart you you don't really care so much about inhibiting factors like opinions or people who may think what you're doing is weird and that's having to break through that whole social dynamic so that you still burrow and foster a much deeper sense of self-worth in yourself translation for those who might want simpler understanding i love being me and i don't give a fuck holla at it holla at me holla at your boy it's literally that simple and this is really going to foster a sense of adventure uh moving in 
to the last part of this cycle. How much do you love yourself? How much fun do you have being yourself? That's gonna be um, answered, but it's also going to, um, it's also going to reward you for this the first part of this transit. So keep that in mind. It, we're coming into a, a culmination here. And other than that, you know, with the opposition that the moon's making to Mars, this this power that we're being initiated to is now initializing from the cosmos to your heart. Nice. So today's daily word is as follows. I am awesome. What's up, y'all? Um, once again, I am awesome. And uh, one more again, I am awesome. Y'all stay blessed as always. And until next time, peace.